Coach, uh, can you talk a little bit about how practice has been going this week? Uh, you guys preparing for North Dakota for two games in Grand Forks this weekend. Just uh, preview that series for us a little bit. Uh, well, practice-wise, we've been doing some some good things in practice. You know, it's uh, towards the end of the year, so there's a lot of minor tweaking to your systems to try to prepare for your, your opponents. Uh, North Dakota's got a terrific team, and we need to make sure that we take away their attempt to take away their strengths and, and, uh, and try and play our game at the same time. Um, you know, all teams in the WCHA right now are in their playoff push, and we're fighting for uh, for a home ice spot. And, and we need to we need to come out of the weekend with points. We know that, um, but we also got to stick with you know the steps and the process in between. I think we've been saying that all year, and you know our kids have done a really nice job of that. So um, that's kind of the plan. When going against a team like North Dakota, um, they have. Uh, quite a few pretty talented offensive players. A lot of their scoring comes from uh, five or six girls towards the top. What do you? What kind of strategy defensively do you go at a team like that? Um, well, I mean, first of all, is acclimation, you know, and I think that having played the Gophers last weekend and have so many talented players certainly sets us up from a schedule perspective to be able to have seen good players. Um, that's not to say that any other teams we've played against, but playing them back to back, it's certainly helpful. Um, you know, they're good players, and, and I think, you know, similar to basketball analogies, you know, they're going to get their touches, and you need to make sure that you make life difficult on them. And I think, you know, they try and make life difficult on our best players, and, you know, and, and uh, we just we need to be prepared to play the game that, that, that we set out to play. We used to talk to, uh, with the Schmidt girls about kind of talking about how their offensive production has picked up this year compared to maybe last year. Um, can you talk about what maybe they're doing differently this year on the offensive end and what it does for a team when you get points from uh, on your defense? Well, I, you know, at, at all levels of hockey, it's difficult to score, and you need all five players, and, and they're certainly able to contribute um, both in transition play, getting us out of the zone, but also in contributing point production-wise. Um, I think last year was a learning curve for them, getting adjusted to the, the speed of college hockey and um, and, and really seeing what their opponents are like and what they can what they can do and, and how far they can take their game this year I think they've been more eager to shoot the puck. I think they've uh, played with a ton more confidence than they did last year I think the last eight games last year we started to see some signs of what they're doing now and uh, I'm proud of them. I'm glad they're they're progressing. They're still the, the, the scary thing for them is I believe they can be even better than they are right now and uh, and I'm excited to see that. All right. Thank you, Coach, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thanks. More defenders, Carrie and Sarah Schmidt. Uh, you guys last year you had 15 points combined, and uh, this year you already have 42 combined points. You're both uh, top 20 nationally in points for defensemen. Can you just talk about a little bit what's contributed to your success on the offensive end this year compared to maybe last year? I think just we're trying to join the play more, get more involved, and just especially on the power play, power plays. Helped a lot out with that, but um, I think just getting pucks to, to the net and trying to get more involved in the play. Yeah, <laughs> just joining the play and being more an offensive threat. You guys have uh, at North Dakota this weekend your last road series of the year. Um, what what sort of uh, what kind of play are you guys are gonna have to bring defensively, especially against a talented offensive team like North Dakota? I think we just have to stay in front of them and block shots. It's gonna be a big part of it. Um, we have to go in there and we have kind of like revenge from them from last year because it didn't turn out very well back when we went there last year. So just stick to our game but block shots and don't let them have their opportunities. When they have players like the Lamaru girls and the Carbonins, uh, do you have to know where those girls are at at all time out on the ice? Yeah, you have to be aware of what they can do, because if you don't, they can hurt you if you're not aware of it so you just have to know where they are on the ice and just not let them get space. And lastly here uh, there's two more series left in the season you guys are fighting for a home playoff spot for the first round uh, how big are these points the next two weekends here? They're, huge. They're obviously really big yeah. so we get home ice advantage in playoffs so we have to come ready to play for the rest of the season. Yeah. All right, good luck this weekend guys. Thank you.